Hello, welcome to our channel Aglasem Schools. In this video, we will be covering exercise 2.3 of chapter linear equation in one variable. So, let us begin with exercise 2.3. Question number 1 is solve the following equation and check your result. First part is 3x equals to 2x plus 18. Moving 2x to LHS, we get 3x minus 2x equals to 18. So, x is equals to 18. To check, we will put the value of x equals to 18 in the equation. 3 into 18 equals to 2 into 18 plus 18. So, 54 is equals to 36 plus 18. 54 is equals to 54. Therefore, LHS is equals to RHS and hence it is correct. Question number 2 is solve the following equation and check your result. Part 1 is 5t minus 3 equals to 3t minus 5. Now replacing the value of 3t and minus 3, we get 5t minus 3t equals to 3 minus 5. 2t equals to minus 2. t equals to minus 2 divided by 2. Therefore, t is equals to minus 1. To check, we will put t equals to minus 1 in the given equation. So we get 5 into minus 1 minus 3 equals to 3 into minus 1 minus 5. Minus 5 minus 3 is equals to minus 3 minus 5. Minus 8 is equals to minus 8. So, LHS is equals to RHS and hence it is correct. Question number 3 is solve the following equation and check your result. 5x plus 9 is equals to 5 plus 3x. Taking x at one side, we get 5x minus 3x equals to 5 minus 9. 2x is equals to minus 4. So, x is equals to minus 4 divided by 2, therefore x is equals to minus 2. To check, we will put the value of x in the above equation. So, we get 5 into minus 2 plus 9 is equals to 5 plus 3 multiplied by minus 2. Minus 10 plus 9 is equals to 5 plus minus 6. Minus 10 plus 9 is equals to 5 minus 6. So, minus 1 is equals to minus 1. Therefore, LHS is equals to RHS and hence it is correct. Question number 4 is solve the following equation and check for result. 4z plus 3 is equals to 6 plus 2z. Moving 3 and 2z, we get 4z minus 2z equals to 6 minus 3. 2z is equals to 3 and z is equals to 3 by 2. To check, we will put z equals to 3 by 2 in the given equation. So, we get 4 multiplied by 3 by 2 plus 3 equals to 6 plus 2 multiplied by 3 by 2. So, 6 plus 3 is equals to 6 plus 3. 9 is equals to 9. So, LHS is equals to RHS. Hence, it is correct. Question number 5 is solve the following equation and check your result. 2x minus 1 equals to 14 minus x. Replacing the value of minus 1 and minus x, we get 2x plus 1x equals to 14 plus 1. 3x equals to 15. So, x is equals to 15 divided by 3 which is 5. So, to check we will put the value of x in the given equation. Therefore, we get 2 into 5 minus 1 equals to 14 minus 5. 10 minus 1 is equals to 14 minus 5. So, 9 is equals to 9. Therefore, LHS is equals to RHS and hence it is correct. Question number 6 is solve the following equations and check the result. 8x plus 4 equals to 3 multiplied by x minus 1 plus 7. Replacing the values from LHS to RHS, we get 8x plus 4 equals to 3x minus 3 plus 7. 8x plus 4 is equals to 3x plus 4. 8x minus 3x is equals to 4 minus 4. So, x is equals to 0 divided by 5 which is 0. To check, we will put x equals to 0 in the given equation. 8 into 0 plus 4 equals to 3 into 0 minus 1 plus 7. 0 plus 4 is equals to 0 minus 3 plus 7. So, 4 is equals to 4. Therefore, LHS is equals to RHS and hence it is correct. Question number 7 is solve the following equation and check your results. x equals to 4 by 5 multiplied by x plus 10. Solving RHS we get x equals to 4 by 5x plus 40 by 50. Moving 4 by 5x to LHS x by 1 minus 4x by 5 equals to 40 by 5. Now taking LCM of 5 we get 5x minus 4x divided by 5 equals to 40 divided by 5. x by 5 is equals to 40 by 5. Now moving 5 to the RHS 
so we get x equals to 40 divided by 5 multiplied by 5 and therefore x is equals to 40. To check we'll put the value of x in the given equation. So we get 40 equals to 4 by 5 multiplied by 40 plus 10. So 40 is equals to 4 by 5 multiplied by 50. 40 is equals to 40 therefore LHS is equals to RHS hence it is correct. Question number 8 is solve the following equation and check your results. 2x by 3 plus 1 is equals to 7x by 15 plus 3. Moving 7x by 15 and 1 to RHS and LHS, we get 2x by 3 minus 7x by 15 equals to 3 minus 1. 10x minus 7x divided by 15 is equals to 2. So 3x divided by 15 is equals to 2. x equals to 2 multiplied by 5 by 3. Therefore, x is equals to 10. To check, we will put the value of x in the given equation. So we get 2 multiplied by 10 divided by 3 plus 1 equals to 7 multiplied by 10 divided by 15 plus 3. 20 divided by 3 plus 1 is equals to 70 divided by 15 plus 3. Now taking the LCM both sides we get 20 plus 3 divided by 3 equals to 70 plus 45 divided by 15. 23 by 3 equals to 115 divided by 15. So 23 by 3 is equals to 23 by 3 therefore LHS is equals to RHS hence it is correct. Question number 9 is solve the following equation and check your result. 2y plus 5 by 3 equals to 26 by 3 minus y. Moving 5 by 3 and minus y to RHS and LHS we get 2y plus y equals to 26 divided by 3 minus 5 divided by 3. 3y equals to 26 minus 5 divided by 3. 3y is equals to 21 by 3. So y is equals to 21 by 3 into 1 by 3 and y is equals to 21 by 9. To check we will put the value of y in the given equation. So we get 2 into 21 by 9 plus 5 by 3 equals to 26 by 3 minus 21 by 9. 14 by 3 plus 5 by 3 is equals to 26 by 3 minus 7 by 3. Taking LCM both the side we get 14 plus 5 divided by 3 equals to 26 minus 7 divided by 3. 19 by 3 equals to 19 by 3. So LHS is equals to RHS hence it is correct. Question number 10 is solve the following equation and check the result. 3m equals to 5m minus 8 by 5. Now moving minus 8 by 5 and 3m to RHS and LHS we get 8 by 5 equals to 5m minus 3m. 8 by 5 equals to 2m, m equals to 4 by 5. To check we will put the value of m in the given equation. So we get 3 into 4 by 5 equals to 5 into 4 by 5 minus 8 by 5. 12 by 5 equals to 20 by 5 minus 8 by 5. So 12 by 5 is equals to 4 minus 8 by 5. Taking LCM both the sides we get 12 by 5 equals to 20 minus 8 divided by 5. 12 by 5 equals to 12 by 5. So LHS equals to RHS, hence it is correct. That's all for this exercise. For more such informative videos, please subscribe our channel. Thank you.